Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Nia G. Today's video is going to be my lash card tour. As you guys may already know, I am a lash artist. Um, you can follow my lash Instagram at fussy.lashes. It'll be linked down below. Um, my TikTok is why I post a couple of lash things on my TikTok that will be linked. And all the items on my lash card, which are all must-haves that I use each and every time that I use lashes, everything will be linked down below in the comments everything is from pretty much amazon so it's all easily accessible um but yeah that's all i hope you guys enjoy these videos as i promise i'll be doing lash related content once a month so yeah stay tuned for that and let's get into the video a complete view of my lash cards um honestly i do want a bigger one but this is obviously from amazon and it's black um everything is pretty much black or pink a little bit of white but yeah those are my colors so everything that's on the top is things that i need to be able to reach easily so i have here this second row is all of my lash trays um these storage units are from five below they're five dollars and yeah as you can see i have some overflow but we'll get into that and then at the bottom is like excess things or things that i don't need to be able to access as easily while i'm lashing okay first things first one of the most important things while being a lash artist is being hygienic we're also in a peony so this is some hand sanitizer i give my clients if they don't have their own a little squirt when they come in and i of course sanitize my hands as i'm going um here i have some micellar water i don't typically use this for lash cleaning but also if um a client forgets their lashes i keep this at the top just in case um or their face if they still have on makeup and since lashing is supposed to be a relaxing experience, you know, luxurious experience, and a lot of my clients, sometimes they like to take naps. So I have this linen room spray. Um, it's lavender. I think it has a tint of... No, it doesn't have a tint of lemon. But, um, oh, my room has a wall plug that is lemon, so it goes nice together, lavender and lemon. But, um... Yeah, I spray this in the room like a little while before the client comes so that it'll settle in and it'll make it more relaxing as they're laying down. Um, here I have this humidifier. I just got it recently because I switched to a different glue a little bit reluctantly. But yeah, so this is the humidifier. It's super cute and the water goes in there and it comes with um, two filters. It literally just filled down my arm. That's disgusting. Um, I have my lash fan. It has a little prop in the back to hold the fan up. Um, so maybe it can dry the lashes while I'm maybe doing something else. And then it's operated with this button and it also comes with a charger, which we go in right there. Um, I used this even before I had the humidifier. This tells me the indoor humidity and the temperature of this room. Um, just so that you'll know, because certain glues, they only activate when you have a certain humidity. Um, so yeah, I just keep this just so I'll know. And then I make sure that the room gets to that level. And this is for after I give clients this business card. And it's a loyalty card. So um, it crosses off every time. Look, it has nine slots. I love this so much. So far, someone has, I recently got this um, last month, but someone is already at their 10% because they're super loyal. I'm um, like, if you've already came before I got the cards, obviously I gave you your slot. But yeah, there's one, two, three, and I just cross it off for them. And then there's a 10% off of a service. And then I have four more after that. And then you get your ninth set free. I'm so excited like this. If you have a problem with, or if you want to encourage clients to consistently come back, loyalty programs are something that is 
like it helps encourage them to come back they'll see that you're serious you value them as a client and yeah and then it's so cute it has little lashes on the back and hearts and it's pink pink i love pink this little handheld mirror you can literally see the rest of the room but yeah so like my clients when i finish they can take a peek at their lashes or even like Maybe when I'm switching glue rings or anything, I'll let them peek at their lashes real quick with that hand mirror. Um, I got that from Five Below and that was about $3. And then I have this acrylic case. Um, I got this from Amazon and here I have my lip brushes. Here I have my lipstick brushes. I have them upside down so they don't collect dust. And I have spoolies. I have some with a black head and some with a pink head and I have um my glue rings in here it comes with um so I have some that are like this and you prop it into these and that makes it easier to make fans as you guys oops, just drop that as you guys know like if you make volume fans you know this helps with making fans and I also have some I also have glue rings that have two sides in them. So after I use all the glue in this one side, I'll just put more glue in the next side and it's easy. But I only use these for classics and the others I obviously use for volume sets. I have this black case. This actually came out of my caboodle, um, which I used when I was going back and forth to my lash lessons. And I would use if I was traveling to a, con to a client. Um, here I have these hydro eye patches and these go under the client's eyes 100 percent natural moistures and moisturizes and tightens skin it's one pair in there so there's two one for each eye and it helps keep the skin like super soft underneath um their eye while you're doing the lashes and also holds down the bottom lashes um yeah so i use that um And here I have this little lash mirror and it helps me get a better view of the client's bottom um, lashes from the bottom. It's like a little dentist mirror. It's so cute, but it just goes under and then you can look and you can see like maybe if there's a lash that's stuck to the bottom, like it just helps you get a better view that you might not necessarily be able to get with like a naked eye. Um, here I have my charger for my humidifier and for my lash fan. I also keep my lash bath and heat glue and I use it on top to help tape down any um, excess lashes that may be sticking out of the eye patches. This tape is freaking amazing. Like I love this tape. This tape makes lashing so much better, so much easier. It is my favorite. And this was just a dollar from Five Below, but I'll show you guys in Amazon Alternative in case you don't have a Five Below in your area. Here I have this ring light clip. It clips to the back of my phone. It has three different settings. Um, and it just makes my lighting so much better on my phone. So when I'm finished lashing, it makes the quality of the picture so much better. Here I have this glue holder. Um, it helps keeps the glue in a regulated temperature. So I never take it out of here unless I am putting the glue inside of a glue ring. Um, it has three slots for glue. This is the glue that I've been using recently, Sky Glue. Um, it needs 40% humidity to cure the lashes. Here I have lash glue remover. And it works super fast, but it, I have Stacy Lash Sensitive Glue. I'm going to show you guys the lash glue that I actually love, but it's been sold out on the website. I kept it. This is Bar Lash Supreme Glue. I did not get this from Amazon. I got it straight from the website, and it has a little pin in here. Um, so you can unstick the glue just in case the head of the glue gets stuck. This lash glue is amazing. $25. I'll here. I have this tweezer stand. So I have a little piece of tape that I use this tape like to stick on the sides if it's not sticking, like maybe if a client has more oily skin. So I just stick it onto the um, 
like here it doesn't fall or anything um this is a tweezer that i use to practice lashes um on my lash head um this is my tweezer for the center like lashes for isolating these are my pink tweezers these tweezers i use for placing the lash these tweezers I use for placing the lash, they're angled. And this tweezer is the tweezer that I use for volume fans. It's super hooked and it just makes volume fans so much easier. So I use this for volume and I use this pink one for classics. It is amazing. I promise you, like I absolutely. In this second row, I have all of my lashes that I use my lash trays. I use Tea Dance lashes. I absolutely love these. Um, my cousin who taught me lashes actually uses these as well. And she showed me a couple of other alternatives, but she said these have always been her favorite and these have been my favorite. I've tried um, two others, like just for practicing, but these were always the easiest. They feel way more realistic and they have such a beautiful curl. These are, these are CC, wait, no, these are DD, but these are 0 0.5, and I'll show you the 0 0.18. This is a brand new fan. My clients love DD way more than, um, they love, my clients love DD lashes way more than CC. Ever since I first did my first set with DD, like I rarely ever use CC, like it is crazy. Um, like my DD fans, my 18 millimeter DD fans, they're all basically like torn apart, empty. Um, this storage in here honestly does not have that much space. I have maybe three or four if I'm lucky in each set of this. And then as you can see, um, I have a bunch of lashes that are in between both. I have a bunch of lashes that are in between both of these two, but I don't necessarily need one now because everything fits perfectly. And then any lashes that do not fit, I do have another place for them. The little bottom of the cart, I have masks. I have some regular blue masks in here, but the rest are, they're pink. It comes with, a hundred, a hundred disposable masks. So just in case I have a client that maybe their mask is uncomfortable because all my clients come in with masks, I have a spare for them and I also change my mask with every single client. Here I have eyelash brushes and spoolies in here because I use half of each pack. They came from separate packs, but let me show you guys. These are the lipstick brushes and at the bottom I have the lash spoolies in here. Um. I'm not gonna be able to take them out. This bag is actually super tight, but I think I have like 300 spoolies and 200 um, lipstick brushes. They'll both be linked up. My tool sterilizer, um, this is it. It comes with beads, you fill it up, and it's for metal tools only. So as you can see, my tweezers are all metal. But yeah, tattoo artists need um, use these, um, other hairstylists, like anyone that works with metal tools that um, are personal items, like you know, in personal spaces like your eyes, your face, like anything like that, they use these. Um, the temperature is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you're not allowed to put any liquid in it, but it's so easy to use. You just turn it on, heat it up, and boom, it works. So easy, but yeah. I have rubbing alcohol. This helps get the glue off of um, tweezers as well as cleaning them. Like a super easy clean. I have Microvan for sterilizing the room. It has a 24 hour hold, cleans up to 99.9 .9 bacteria and it smells so good. Like it smells like fresh air. If you've ever been in like hiking or something and the air is super crisp, that is what it smells like. I love smelling it, but 
yeah i do this before and after a client comes in and here are cotton pads these were literally a dollar from target 100 count um i use it with the micellar water just in case a client doesn't have a clean face they can use these and also sometimes for um lash room. so that is everything on my lash car everything that you need if you are a lash artist lash tech whatever you want to call yourself you need all these things everything will be linked down below so use those links you know um if you need anything if you want anything if you have any further questions dm me on my personal instagram at n1a.g or on my lash instagram if you want to book an appointment or anything or if you have any lash related questions um at fussy.lashes everything is going to be linked below that's all for today's video um let me know down below what other lash videos you guys would like um if you have any lash questions you can also just ask them down in the comments that's it for today's video thank you so much for tuning and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video